Hi friends, today we will discuss about the self view of Sienna 5.71. So you can see here the self view of Sienna 5.71. This is the self view of Sienna 5.71. This is the power slot. This is the FRU module. This is again the FRU module. This is the power slot. And this is the interfaces for the traffic. This is for management console. This is for pit sync. This is for alarm. This is antenna. And all these ports are mentioned here with the names you can see here clearly so there are two fru modules fixed for 100g and 140g you can see here this is a fru module and this is a fru module this is slot one this is slot two this is the module one and this is the module two and each module has two ports one port is fixed for 100g cfp and the other port is fixed for 100g or 40g qsfp 28 you can see here fru module in slot one this is the slot one there are two ports which is fixed for CFP and 100G oblique QSFP 28. FRU module in slot 2. This is the slot 2. And there is also a two ports. So these two modules are very similar. This is the port level in description. You can see here. This is the console. This is USB. This is the management thing. Like you can see here, this is the management USB cable. So management 10, oblique 100, oblique 1000. MRJ45 management port. So this is the port level and the respective description is given here. So let's move to the next slide. You can see here this is a selfie of Sienna 5.71. This is the power slot. The Sienna 5.71 is available with either dual hot swappable AC power supplies or dual DC power supplies. So these two power supplies are, can be either AC or DC, but both the power supplies should be of the same type. The both power supplies cannot be of different type, like one is AC and one is DC. No, both can be same type. Either it is DC, both the DC, either both the AC. One power supply has enough energy or enough efficiency to generate the power which is enough. Or sufficient to run this uh, 5.71 and the other power card is used as a redundancy. Power units can be AC or DC but the combination of AC and DC units in the same chassis is not supported. As I have already said the two slot PSA this is the PSA and this is PSB is fixed for the power supply unit. This is the back side. The 5.71 contains six Hot swappable fan module. Hot swappable means it can easily swappable. Means if this fan unit is faulty, you can replace it. This is the back chassis. Each module contains two fans. You can see here each swap module contains two fans. One, two. This module also two fan. This, 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 this. Each module contains two fans which to press air through the inflow events and on from uh, on the front of the chassis and exhaust it at the rear of the chassis. The back portion of the module is fixed for a fan module. This is the front or the front view. This is the rear view. So now we are seeing here the interfaces which are for traffic card or traffic ports. So this is the numbering of the ports. From the first one, the upper one is the first port, the, after that second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, towards the 20. And this is the 21 port and going towards the 40 port. So this is the numbering of this port. There are 40 ports for the traffic. There are 36 port is fixed for one oblique like 10G. You can see here 1 to 9 port, 12 to 20 port. 21 to 29 port and 32 to 40. So these 36 ports is fixed for 1 to 10G. At bottom in front side there are 18 port on left side. You can see here this is the 18 port on the left side and 18 port on the right hand side. There are four ports is fixed for 1, 10 or 25G. You can see here 10, 11, 30 and 31. These four ports is fixed for 1, 10, 25G. SFP, SFP plus or SFP 28. 1 to 10 GB using standard SFP and SFP plus optical module means on these ports, on these 36 ports, you can insert any SFP or SFP plus optical modules. Port 1 to 30 must be configured as UNI 
so port 1 to 30 so you cannot configure this port as an mi so this port is fixed for uni as they do not support dying gaps port 31 to 40 can be uni or nni so if you need to consider or you need to configure any port as an nni then you need to configure port 31 to 40 as an nni when configured as an nni support time gas power hold up port 10 11 30 and 31 supports 10 gb sfp sfp plus or 25 gb sfp 28 the 5171 support dying gas functionality in the event of power failure the 5171 sends a dying gas notification to the network the notification also contains a syslog entry if syslog is enabled when the 5171 is powered by redundant power supplies a dying gas messaging is only sent when both power supply is loose power possible cause of dying gas signal include power failure in the power source disconnection of the ac or dc power source so this is about the dying gas thank you